Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Blind Play Chrono Trigger. I'm Ultima Mantoid. This is probably going to be a bit of a grind video, um, and going back and doing just a, you know, grabbing a couple chests, so if you're not interested in seeing that sort of stuff, you can possibly skip this episode and not miss a whole lot. Uh, I know where I want to go to grind, um, oh, and also, oh, there it is. That was easier than I thought it would be. Um, anyway, I've never shown this off because I didn't know it existed, but that's the world map in 1680. I might just go through each timeline or whatever, and, uh, yeah. So what, I've, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back here to Giant's Claw because this had the toughest enemies that I can recall that are probably still here. Um, except I don't remember where I'm going. Okay. Uh, let's... You know what? Fuck it. Let's try black holing them. Uh, wow. Okay, he moved in range. I know black hole's an instant death attack, so... Hey, he took one of them with him. Might as well just go all out if I'm gonna just grind. I mean... But yeah, the whole point of this video is to go ahead and get the final text, and since it's a blind run, kinda can't really... Okay, I'll have to remember that. Oh no kitty! Oh dear. Oh yeah, that's right. That's that room. I remember that room now. I guess I'll just grind on these guys. I remember those gorillas or monkeys or whatever just being too much of a pain in the ass. So I'm just gonna fight these guys, I guess. Slow and steady wins the race, I suppose. Well! I guess, uh, Lucas Flair will hit one. Um... Oh, this is a quick way to do it, so I might as well just do this. I'm gonna go back, I know, if I remember right, there was a black chest in Hecron lair or whatever where I fought that one guy. There we go. Um. Wait, I don't think I've seen Line Bomb yet. I want to try this out. Unless Black Hole just eats all three of them. Oh my god, it did! Ba -da -da -da, ba -da -ba -ba -da. Oh wait, wrong game. I'm gonna line bomb them next time. I want to see how how much damage that does. If you know, <clears throat> black hole works on all you know doesn't work on all three of them. It seems like it's got a high success rate on these things. Look okay, how he just turns his back and just opens his arms like, "Come here, you! I welcome you with the hug of death into a black hole." Giddy up. Wing blow. Alright. Line bomb. Okay, that is just badass. Frog leveled up. Yay! I 
seems like they always move in close enough for a black hole. Like, all three of them. Have I done red pin yet? Uh, let's see. I'll just do a line bomb. Okay, I guess they were on top of each other. I didn't see them move like that. Um, it was there's a black chest. I do remember in Hecarim Cave or wherever, and the one, the two that are outside the mayor's office. I think that's it. I may be wrong, and I really can't remember anymore. So, although I may go back in the the ruins there and. where uh, Cyrus rests, if, you know. Because I'm, I'm just gonna, you know, go back in case I missed anything. Why not? I like it when it just, it takes all of them, but... kind of counterproductive when it only leaves one. Magus learned dark matter. Awesome! So now we just need frog's ability. Frog squash. That, that's a one you kill, yeah. We'll just leave it at that. Man, you things are annoying. And Frog Squash. I have all the abilities. Dual Tech, Frog Flare. Okay, I guess I'll do two more battles. One to see Frog Flare, and the other to see Frog Squash. Or Frog Squash, then Frog Flare. HP oh it's one of those uh, it's like rainbow frog oh my god that is a lot of damage frog flare ult two times damage to multiple What? 
3,000? Holy crap. Um... I think I'm gonna just do a battle each, now that everybody's got their... ...ultimates. Holy crap. Nothing there. Well, I have all of them now, so... I guess this will speed it up a little bit. And then I'll check out those triple tags. Dropkick? Okay. Chrono is the only one, and I need to make him battle with everyone as well, because I just remembered he's not been in the party for, like, ever. Damage enemy with triple kick. Inferno Toss? I have to see this. That was pretty badass. Fuck everyone, Luminaire. Oh. Oh. Well, that happened. Triple Tech 3D attack. Okay, now I have to do that. Did not expect a new Triple Tech. Now, if it's like in real 3D, I'll be impressed. to one person. Oh! I see why 3D. Oh crap, Room Luminaire's That's right, they absorb electric. herp a -derp. That 
That thing has like single digit HP left. I honestly do not know what half these triple techs are, or double techs, or whatever. And if I'm missing any by the end of this video, show me, please. I'll probably say that in the next part, too, just be on the safe side. I don't remember Delta Force. I guess I'll do it. I don't remember it, but I may be wrong. Antipode 3, dual tech. Okay. Let's do Antipode 3. And you can just attack somebody. Wow! For a dual tech, that's really powerful. I don't remember Fire Zone. But that does a lot of damage, and it's in proximity of Robo, so I'll have to remember that. Yep, that's what I thought. Shock is electric damage. <sighs> Even though he sometimes will do shadow. Robo, you are just a hodgepodge. Oh, I got both of them. Cool. Double V-bomb. Super Volt. Okay. Like I said, this episode is mostly grinding. Okay, that's insane. That's nearly 4k damage. Now let's see what the double volt is.
These guys are fucking annoying. I know they're gonna absorb it, and I really don't care. Cause I'll just follow it up with flare. That's awesome. And I think, unless I learn another technique, I'm going to head out the door after this. Oh wait, no, I've still got the exclusives to do with all the stones. Marl, Luca, Magus. Now let's see how these things work. Dark Eternal. What in the... That looked pretty fucking cool. That, that actually was pretty damn cool. Um, let's put the speed belt back on you. Luca Robo Magus. Luca has no MP. Let's go fix that. Aw, oh, motherfucker. Oh well, I'll use it on them. Fuck it. Oh, I have to equip it first. That's right. Blue one. Okay. Alright, Omega Flare. Ultimate laser. This will probably like What in the Okay, that that wow. Um I I'm speechless. That was probably the coolest thing yet. Robo Frog Ayla. I'm assuming that's the one because that's the only one that.
been... Oh, Ayla has no MP. Really? Try that again. Three and a half K to a single target. Not worth. Frog. Only frog? Something's weird with this. Only frog. Something ain't right with that. You know what? I'm gonna see how long I've been recording and I'm gonna look and see what it requires out of the gold rock because that's weird that it just says frog and nobody else. Well, I'm glad I checked the menu, the options menu, before I went looking on the internet. Um, the item itself doesn't actually say. Like, I'll go unequip it from Frog real quick. Things can be used by Frog. But, Okay, maybe I have to have it equipped on Frog to show it. Now, when I go over here to Tech, I go to Triple Tech, it actually shows Grand Dream show up. And the party is Marl, Frog, and Robo. <clears throat> so, I'm going to switch to that real quick. I'll show off Grand Dream. And then I'm gonna call it a video. I know, like I said, this is the grind video. I'm probably gonna have one in every RPG. Alright, let's see what Grand Dream does. Physical attack with new Masamune, huh? What in the? 
That's it. That's it. All that trouble, and that was it. Fuck this game. Alright. I'm pretty sure there are more triple techs. I know there has to be more than five and more than the ones in these stones. So, hopefully, without spoiling it for myself, I can go look and see what they actually are. I'm Ultima Mantoid, and this is Let's Blind Play Chrono Tripper. Until next time, take care and have fun.